Hi everyone, today in front of me I have this uh, Xiaomi 12X smartphone and in this video we'll talk about top 5 tips for this device, like what features it has and what features can you possibly use. Uh, the first feature is a uh, biometrical feature, uh, it's basically just uh, all about uh, allowing you to set the, the fingerprint ID or the face recognition as the unlock methods for your device. So we'll go ahead and set them up real quick. In order to do so, just go ahead and open the settings. Look for the passwords and security section. And here, as you can see, there is the fingerprint unlock and face unlock. I'll just set up the fingerprint unlock first. Uh, here, the system will ask you to uh, get yourself the backup unlock methods uh, among the list of pattern, pin, and password. I'll just go with pattern just you know just to have some backup option in case the fingerprint or face unlock for some mysterious reason they will not work press on got it choose the pattern or basically the pin code or password that you want to use here we'll go ahead and set up the fingerprint as you can see the fingerprint scanner on this device is located right at the bottom of the screen so lay your finger and do that until your finger will be fully scanned You just gotta lay it on uh, different angles, use different degrees to get the, your fingerprint evenly scanned and as detailed as it can be. All right, so as we can see, uh, it has successfully read our fingerprint. We press on done, and now uh, we can use it as uh, we can use our fingerprint as an unlock method. So. Let me show it to you real quick. Uh, I'll just unlock the phone, lay my finger on the uh, scanner, and here we go. The phone has been successfully unlocked. And what's about the face unlock? I'll go ahead and set it up as well. Mm. So I'm drawing the pattern. And now I'll just go ahead and uh, set it up off screen real quick. All right, so that was really quick. All you gotta do is just uh, align your face with the zone that is required and it will uh, read your face very quickly. So now let me show that the face ID works as well. All right, as you can see, the phone is unblocked now. I'll show you once again. All right, all good. Uh, that was it as for the biometrics. We're moving on to the next tip, which uh, is uh, my favorite screen a refresh rate. You'll go to the settings, look for display, and here you'll have the refresh rate section, or should I say refresh rate setting. Uh, here you basically have uh, three choices. You can either choose a custom uh, refresh rate, so with 60 hertz you get better battery life, with 120 hertz you'll get the better uh, and smoother animations and overall visual experience, or you can also, mm, I'll just show you how this ball will look once the refresh rate is set at 60 hertz, and now you can compare it to the 120. Also you are able to choose an auto refresh rate mode which will basically just switch between 120 and 60 hertz um, once the phone either needs better battery life or the phone needs or the phone can allow itself to uh, go for the smoother visuals so it will uh, automatically identify what condition your phone at and what would be better for it i'll just leave it at custom 120 hertz but you do you uh, choose any option that fits you best. So moving on to the next tip is uh, always on display. It's very, very cool feature in order to activate it. You gotta just find the always on display and lock screen uh, setting. And here you gotta turn it on by altering the switch. Um, you also can either set some schedule or uh, set it to be as like the permanent feature. So it will always be here, be on your phone. Uh, you can also alter the switch that the always on display will be turned off once you'll uh, turn on the battery saver, but I'll disable it as for right now. Mm. And I'll just go with always. You can also uh, set it for five seconds after tapping, so it will not be permanently visible, but once you tap it will appear at, uh, for the five next seconds and then it will disappear again. 
Uh, here we have multiple, multiple things to configure. For example, we can set up our own theme by downloading some images, choosing colors, etc., etc. But just not to dive into such details, I'll show you guys the what 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 you can do without having to add any your uh, personalized or custom information. What you can do from the things that are already presented here. So you can uh, place your signature here. Um, for example, I'll choose this style and I'll type. I'll just type hard reset, hard reset, and I will actually apply it. Now we will block the phone, the always on screen will turn on and show our uh, signature right here. Uh, then we can uh, set up the analog clock design kaleidoscope with a uh, digital um, Im image of uh, time or should I say a digital display of time or just simply digital clock. I'll go ahead and set this clock. It's minimalistic, but it looks fine. I'll make it purplish. Um, you can also configure the display items. In my case, I want both battery and notifications to appear. Oh, all right, no, I don't want notifications to be here. So I'll apply them. Uh, and you can also select the background for it. I'll go with this magnificent cactus. Mm, change the text color here, for example. Uh, I'll go with yellow. And basically each of these options, they uh, replaces each other. So there is no need to choose both digital and background because when I uh, block, when I lock the screen and the always on display will appear, we'll see that um, uh, it does not show the signature, it does not show the uh, di digital clock, it only shows the background with this uh, uh, time and date information. So choose uh, any, any option, any variant that fits you best. So that was it for the as for the always on display awesome feature definitely uh, You should definitely try it out. The next tip is uh, themes which you can customly set up for this device if you're tired of the default mm, Appearance default visuals uh, you just go to the settings again go for themes and Here you can either choose between very boring standard two teams or you can just press free themes uh, go to the MIUI theme store and here pick any theme, any theme that will uh, catch your attention. I'll, I don't know, I'll probably want to go with, let's say, this one. You just open the preview that you like best. Tap on this green free download button. That means that this theme is absolutely free to use, free to download. It will download it. Might take quite some time, but no worries. Uh, it, it will get there eventually. And now we can choose uh, what uh, parts of themes we want to apply. We can either choose all or choose only the parts that we liked. Um, and uh, after we're ready to set this new theme, we'll just tap on apply. It will start applying. And as you can see, the themes have been successfully applied and the home screen uh, have been the, the home screen wallpaper has been changed. The um, icons are the icons are changed as well. And the last uh, but not least that I wanted to discuss in this video is the, how you can change the navigation type on this device. So you got to get back to settings again. Look for uh, the home screen category. It should be somewhere here. Home screen is all right, right here with this purple home icon. Tap on it, and here look for the system navigation. So uh, the device uh, allows us to choose between two uh, navigation types. The first one being the buttons, uh, this little digital button that are active now on the bottom of your screen. So this one opens recent apps. This one gets us back home, and this one. Uh, 
gets us the previous page we were on. We were on. And uh, there is also such option to, in, in the buttons uh, navigation type, we can either mirror buttons, as you can see, they've uh, been mirrored successfully. Uh, create the button shortcuts. For example, here you can customize and uh, set the hotkeys uh, as it is convenient for you, for you personally. Uh, and also, you can also set that in some apps, this button navigations will be uh, hide, hidden automatically if they uh, are a sore in for your eye. And we can also set up the gestures navigation type uh, there is some uh, guide for it, but it's in Chinese, but that's okay. So I'll swipe from the bottom quickly in order to get back to the home screen. Uh, then I'll just swipe from the bottom and pause in order to open up the recent app list. And in order to get back to the previous page, I'll just swipe right. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about the gestures navigation and uh, also this phone has a pretty uh, comprehensive uh, instruction and guide for it so that's that's good uh, we can also hide the home screen indicator for example like that this home screen indicator is basically this gray bar uh, gesture confirmation, which basically uh, sets up that in some cases the uh, you, you gotta repeat the gesture in order for it to work, and there, there are also the gestures that you can um, set up and customize. So uh, that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, uh, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And bye-bye.